Welcome back. Nice to be here. Nice to see you again. Thank you, Donnie. Now, I've just mentioned this album. I'll take that out so it doesn't fall alone. Plug in already? <laughs> yes. The Hollies, <laughs> the hit list. Now, I counted 16 on this. How many actual hits, singles, have the Hollies had in... 25, 26, 27? 25, to, which one? Mm, well, this, this, you know, the other Guinness Book of Records, they have that yeah. sort of thing over here. Well, that's listed as 29. 29, so I'll go, I'll that's, go that's 29. what I was going on, because yeah. I, I noticed that in a newspaper article the other day. That makes you the seller of the most singles uh, of any group in the world, apparently. If you say so. If you say so, we believe you. If they say so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll believe the Guinness Book. But that, it, I mean, people would say, no, the Beatles have obviously had more. They probably sold more in volume. Yeah. Uh, but, we, you know, the hits. Hit the hit, yeah, yeah. Right. Do you record much these days? We Quite got a new one out at I the know moment. One around, called yeah. Reunion of the Heart, mm -hmm. which is uh, a nice song we found. And uh, that's the first one I've heard of by you for a long time. Stop in the name of love. Uh, that's the, the one we all play. The old Supremes uh -huh. thing, yeah. which we turned around a little bit and uh, recorded with Graham Nash, who was with us in the early sixties. Uh -huh. Of course, uh, that was the last uh, single we had out. How of, far back was that? About four years. Yeah, we we only put things out that we really, you know, we, we believe in. You know, that we think that's got half a chance of getting there. Right. You and, don't uh, worry that you don't record more often. You well, we, we're in the studios quite a lot, but you you know, most of the stuff that we do, we're not we're, we're not pleased with, you know. So, so rather than put it out, you know, we we wait for the right one to a come. A long on. way down the track, then we would have an album of all these Holly songs that were never released. Mm. Holly's mm. rejects, I doubt it. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, like great painters, you'll have to wait until we're six feet under, and they're probably. That's <laughs> I didn't want to sure say it that <laughs> way. Uh, the, on the road situation, how often do you go on the road, like you are now? Well, it's about five months of the year. Um, we've just completed a UK tour before we came here. That, that was, was a smash, apparently. That was mm -hmm. very good, yeah. Yes. We started the Albert Hall, we packed the Albert Hall out, yeah. and we did about 34 dates throughout the UK. Then we had two weeks off, and then we were here. But when you're on stage now, you, I also read this through the week, you do... Um, I hope our journos are being good to you, because I'm using a lot of this stuff. Okay. You do your past hits in three ways, it said. Can you just explain what you meant by that? Apparently you do them as you used to, and... Yeah. Well, the base of the thing is we, we, we're not using support bands. We do the whole show ourselves. How long was it? Two and a half hours. In fact, in Brisbane on the first night, we got up to nearly three hours. We have an interval what? in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're trying to beat we're trying to beat Bruce Springsteen. You know. <laughs> you can do it if you can. Uh, no, what we do is as as he, as the report you said, we we do some of the songs uh, pretty much as they were originally recorded in the 60s or the 70s. Yeah. Or if the mood feels right, uh, the three frontline vocalists just take over with an acoustic guitar, and uh, right. we just throw a few around like that. You yeah, know, it all depends on how <clears> you know on how we feel. If it feels yeah. good, but some of those early songs sound really good with a sort of an 87 right. treatment. Do you ever so do a cappella stuff with you just don't use instruments at all? Um, it's, well, well, it's, it's, it's loan it's, itself to that, wouldn't it? Yeah, it, it, well, it does. I mean, some of the, it's virtually is that. It, it's yeah. almost yeah. that. Right. Yeah. 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 There are sections in a song where they will just sing with, you know, three voices. Mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Now, tonight you're at the State Theatre in Sydney. Well, just before we go and before we wrap this up, your favourite song of all time that the Hollies have done? Possibly He Ain't Heavy's My Brother, mainly because it was a very important release yeah, for us. It, uh, it, it, it sort of just escalated us up the ladder a little bit, I think. Yourself? Long Cool Woman, which rock and roll. I was going to say Long Cool Woman because that was very un -Hollies. It was one, one voice, whereas maybe, uh, all the Hollies hits yeah, previously were three, yeah. three homies. Okay, thank you for coming in. Okay. Pleasure Good luck at the State Theatre tonight. And Melbourne the tomorrow. Hitless, the album. And you're off to Melbourne and stuff. Melbourne, the continent. Good, Melbourne watch out for the Melbourne. We thank Tony Hicks, Alan Clark, and Bob Elliott. Stop in the name of love. This is the one they spoke about. The Hollies. Have a look at what they do with it. They sort of turn it around a little.